this is a note on connecting a GPS, an external GPS, to the uh, OpenCPN navigation program. And so I have here a, a GPS in the window uh, connected to a USB port. Um, and we're going to load we're gonna, uh, load that into OpenCPN, and I'll do it this way. Then I'll come back and make one on uh, using a Bluetooth. But before for either one of these, um, for either one of these, uh, I recommend uh, getting a sort of an auxiliary tool that will come in handy when you're on your boat and when you're doing things like this. And that's called uh, Cool Term. Cool Term. So if you just Google Cool Term, C O O L Term, you'll get to here. Then there's a Mac and a Windows version. So I recommend recommend that you get that app and I'll show you how you use that in just a minute here. Okay, so I've got that thing plugged in uh, plugged in and uh, into the USB port here. And uh, if you're on uh, obviously I well obviously I don't know if you're on a virtual machine, you know, then you have to be sure that the USB connection is going to the right computer but this is what we use this program for then here's cool term that opens up and this is independent of open cpn uh, you can maybe get by without it but this is i think pretty nice so you would go to options here and then well maybe rescan for the ports to see which ports are connected and then you go here and the one that I'm working with right this moment, this, we have several things connected to this computer, but right now this is the one here. This is the USB. This is one from Rose Point. Actually, they don't may sell it anymore, but it's, a, it's a, just a high quality GPS uh, USB connection. So I go there. These are always 4800 RP, uh, 4800 baud, 8N1, that's it, and say OK, and then go connect. All right, so there are the signals. So that's the first thing we want. So we've confirmed the two main things that we don't want to go into OpenCPN with uncertainty of. We, uh, okay, I can disconnect. So we know the name of the connection. This was had some number on it, 14 something. And we know that there's live data on it. Then you just close that down, don't save, you're done. Now you go to OpenCPN, go up here to the, this connection. Go to connections, and you're going to add a connection. And we want serial port, data port. Now you here collect it, and here's all the ones. Now you may only have one showing, but you've got to have that one showing. This is it'll be showing up here, or the the Bluetooth that's not connected to the Bluetooth, but that should show up here. This is the one. It's 4800 N1. You can put anything. I'll just this is called my Rose Point. Uh, you know, Rose Point and GPS. And then uh, this doesn't matter. For now, this doesn't matter either, but we can, we can control what things it's going to accept and what it's not going to accept. But that's not the issue for now. And this say OK. Now, if all is working, this should go green. So there you got green right there. So we're connected, and then all of a sudden the boat is in the uh, what's this open? We record a computer screen. I, this is something new uh, with the new operating system. Um, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, and so here is this. The other thing you can do here, you go up here and you say show NEMA signals, and you'll see these, these signals coming in here. That's another proof that you've got them. Okay, apply. Okay, okay, cancel. Uh, pause and I shut that off so that's working so there's the signal um, you can see our office right here here's where we're here's where we're located right this minute that's our that's our building right here okay so that's the way that works and um, later I'll come back with a Bluetooth of, a version of that